happy Saturday. So after waxing lyrical about Savannah so much yesterday, I decided I had to put on the one piece of Savannah clothing that I have that actually fits me. Like I said, I've done the t-shirt, the skirt, and I've also done the jumpsuit out of this print. Yeah, the t-shirt the t and the skirt don't fit me, and the jumpsuit I'm not a huge fan of because it just feels so polyester-y, so I've never worn it, but I do really like the style of it, so I want to revisit that jumpsuit again with different fabrics. But I am down in the sewing room today. I am going to get my two trouser muslins cut out. I'm going to put the sewing room, or this cutting table, back in its little corner so that I can get my sewing table out and I'm going to start sewing the grey dress today I think that's the plan. I haven't got any makeup on today my eyes are itching from yesterday after having worn makeup which is why I don't wear it very often and I do feel a little bit pale and pasty with the hair but I like it I do like it. I've got it tied back today because it's really hot down here currently nearly 23 degrees in here without any heating on so whew warm i have gone through my patterns and decided which ones i'm going to put up for a vote on patreon for next month's sew along because i am excited to start those again as i say i've got a lot to catch up on and i want to get those done as well but i want to put some stuff up for the vote on patreon because you guys the patreon peeps have been incredibly patient with me this year there has been very little like patreon exclusive content going on so i want to start doing the sew alongs again and i'm excited about this month or next month's picks because i have decided that it's going to be shirts and i've done a couple of shirts in the past but i have got some new ones for you guys to pick from so the first is the vogue 9029 i really I like this. I really like the UD with the ruffle down the front. I really like the kind of different neckline options. Not so keen on the ruffles around the cuffs. Not a huge fan of those. Although B is the one that's made up on the cover of the envelope and actually those ruffles look quite cute so possibly. But I'm not sure which one I would make and this is a shirt with a button band coll uh, collar stand and collar on it which is something that i have said previously that i'm not a huge fan of but i think it's got a collar stand and collar yeah collar and collar band but it is a really classic fitted shirt and i need some of those because i want to wear that kind of thing I just don't have any of them in my wardrobe so this is going to be one of the options next up we've got McCall's 8040 which is the Emmy and I really like view B I, I do like view A but when it, they're cropped like that I, I prefer my shirts to be tucked in so I don't think I would enjoy wearing view A I think I would find wearing it frustrating but I do like how it looks but it would be view B that I would make with the three quarter length sleeves like the lady is wearing on the pattern envelope really like that and this one has no collar at all and it's kind of like the open neckline which I have decided that I definitely prefer that. Having said that, we've got McCall's 8027, which was one of my pattern swap presents from Elizabeth. I really like all the different options on this. On view A, there's actually like a lacing detail on the back, which I think is really cute. I like the yoke details on the front and all the top stitching. I like that you can have the long sleeves that then get rolled up and tied up with a tab. I really like that type of sleeve and want to try and make it. Most of these, like the the the, the Vogue one and this one, I'm going to have to do full, full bicep adjustments for. I think I'll get away with it with the 8040. I like the styling of this and again it's kind of a slim fit shirt so I want to give that one a try. And then the final one is Simplicity 8445 which was a very lovely present from Laurieann when her and Larry came to visit a couple of years ago now and this is also the pattern that Raph used on the Great British Sewing Bee this Wednesday the 40s week. I think I want to make view I want to say A because it's long sleeved. I love that collar. I love the yoke at the back. I think it's really pretty. I really like B as well, but I, I think B would be slightly more difficult to wear under cardigans and things because it's a three quarter sleeve with the, those winged kind of like turn back cuffs. So I think A would be easier to wear because it's long sleeved. So I could wear it in this kind of weather and not need a cardigan. I have brought a cardigan down with me today because I will get chilly later because I am basically a lizard and if I'm not directly in the sun, I get cold. I do like view A and C, which is the short sleeved one. I do really like that and that is definitely a possibility as well. So basically I like all of the versions of this. 
and want to make all of the versions of this. I think they're lovely. So yeah, that's the fourth one that's up for a vote on Patreon. Whichever one of these gets picked, I will be happy. I will probably try and make some of the other ones as well. Won't necessarily have sew alongs for them, but these will be up on the Patreon site later on today for a vote. I have no idea what fabric I'm gonna use for them. I have some pansy print fabric in my stash that I got from Truro Fabrics. I bought a sample of it and then utterly regret not buying enough to make a dress and I just I ended up getting a meter in a bit so that I could of what, whatever they had left and it, I'm gonna have to turn it into a shirt that's a possibility although I love that fabric so much I would need to make a muslin first to make sure that I like the pattern that I'm gonna make it out of and probably not for like them probably not pansy fabric for this one I'm gonna stop waffling at you that was seven minutes of waffle I'm gonna get on with ironing my calico so I can cut out my trousers and then it will be back to doing some sewing which I am very excited about so uh, let's get started we are back in sewing mode that giant pile of hydrangeas there is going to be my very ruffly skirt I was worried when I was cutting the strips out that it wasn't going to be full enough and I think that was a stupid thing to think <laughs> the first tier is one strip the second tier is two strips and the third tier is four strips so it's like doubling each time and it's going to be really ruffly I think I'm going to like this a lot but it is half past five so I'm going to go and cook dinner Okay, I have made coronation chicken curry for mum, dad and I for dinner and it was very yummy. Dad definitely approved of that one. I have come back to my roughly roughly skirt. I am attempting to sew these with French seams because this is a really fine cotton lawn so I think I'm going to go away with it. The bottom ruffle, I've actually, because I've pinned so many things, I've actually kind of only got a few pins left. So I pinned half of it sewed it and I'm now gonna gather and pin the other half of it and sew it down. Then I can trim off the excess, press the seams and sew the other side of the French seam so the raw edges are enclosed. I think I'm gonna really like this. I, I think. I really hope I'm gonna like this. I have got enough fabric to cut a different type of skirt if I need to but I, I think I'm gonna like this. And I really hope that I actually like the bodice as well. It's the KB Grey dress, which I used to wear all the time. And it is, thinking about it, it is a really sort of small and strappy dress. And I'm not gonna be sure how confident I'm gonna feel wearing it, but we'll see. And if I don't like it, then I have more than enough fabric to cut a different bodice. And I still think get a shirt out of this fabric as well. So I'm going to put you on time lapse whilst I sew and gather. So I hope you enjoy. Quite a few of you have been saying that you miss seeing the sewing time lapses. A lot of you have been asking for sort of bits in a pattern that I uh, like, for example, sewing in the collar on the 6891. Yeah, sure. I'm I'm happy to do this kind of things. It's just sometimes it doesn't occur to me to film that kind of stuff whilst I'm doing it. But I suppose if there's a pattern that I'm working on and there's a new technique in it, maybe that would be something fun to see. I'm still pretty much thinking I'm going to do a sew along for the 6891 showing you how to line fully line the the bodice purely and simply because you know, it is, it's different to how the pattern would have you put it together, but not that different. I'm thinking about doing that, and I do have another couple of Lady McElroy cotton lawns that are sheer, like, you know, the cream lighter backgrounds. I've got the Damselfly one, Leafy Tropics, Cobra Corsage on the Chantilly base. What's the other one up there? Oh, Parrot Dice as well. Yeah, so I think the, there's quite a few up there that I would want to line whatever I do with them and I think at least one of those if not more of them is going to be a 6891 because I really really like that shirt dress I haven't worn it yet I was going to put it on today but then I yeah as I said yesterday wax lyrical about the savannah print so much that I decided to put it on <laughs> anyway that's enough waffle that's like nearly three minutes of waffle so I am going to get on with gathering and sewing this skirt <laughs>
it's not finished yet. I haven't finished sewing up the back seam or sewn the lining down to the zip or any of those things. But I wanted to try it on before I did any of that, just in case there was something I wanted to change. I, uh, that's why you can see the lining poking out as well, because I haven't put t attached the lining to the waistband. I like it. I, I, <laughs> it's a different kind of skirt silhouette for me. It is very full and ruffly. I'm not sure about this tier here. I'm not sure, maybe this needs to be, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I can't decide what it is that I'm not sure about. Again, it's going to be interesting to see this footage back because I always feel that, I don't know, it's weird. It's seeing yourself in something, not in a mirror, if that makes sense, is, uh, is good. For me, this is a very cleavage-tastic dress. As I say, I haven't like finished the, the zip or the back or anything properly, so it's not quite fitting as it should, like I say, with the, that's why you can see the lining and stuff here. I love this fabric, and this is a, I mean, it is a really full skirt. I went by the rule of twice the waist measurement, twice your waist measurement for the top tier, then twice that for the next tier, and then twice that for the final tier. So there's two widths of the fabric in the second tier and then four widths of fabric in the, the third tier. It is half past 10 though, so that's why I've put it on to show you guys. I mean, I put it on to try it on just before I started like, you know, completely finishing everything on the inside in case there was anything that needed changing. I wanted to show you guys as well how it turned out. And I, I do like it. I do like it. I think it's just one of those things that I need to get used to. I'm used to with gathered skirts that they kind of get really poofy from there, so this is different for me. But I'm glad that I tried it. Like I say, I have a lot of this fabric left over, so if the tie front shirt mashup of the 9345 and the 5895 works, I'm quite tempted to make that shirt out of this because it would be really easy to wear it over this bodice tie it at the front for a different look and a little bit more coverage if i i don't know for example was going i don't know just just if i wanted a little bit more coverage coverage i mean i do not mind cleavage tastic dresses as you guys know i have got a lot of cleavage cleavage tastic dresses in my wardrobe McCall's 7974 springs to mind but also the McCall's 8009 jumpsuit as well that's also very cleavage tastic so I do not mind this. I have made a lot of this bodice before with a lot of different types of skirts on it. Usually I would do a five panel circle skirt or a gathered skirt on this but I'm glad that I tried this tiered skirt. I think I think it's a really pretty skirt. It's a different and doesn't take up too much fabric as well, which is great. There's a Instagram account called K Makes Things, and she has a tiered skirt on there, and that's where I kind of learned about the times two, you know, kind of tier math. I really like the length of this one. It's about 30 inches. Each of these strips was 11 and a half inches wide to account for seam allowance, and end up with a 30 inch ish skirt. I have run out of white bias binding so I'm going to have to order some more of that but I, I could I can always hem this with pink bias binding or something. To be fair it's a straight line so I could just turn it up and stitch it down but there's no other top visible top stitching on this dress so I don't think I want to do that. This fabric was a birthday present last year from the very lovely Jennifer and I am I'm in love with it so thank you Jennifer it is a gorgeous dress and as I say I've got enough back there to make something else as well which i am really excited about i didn't cut anything else out of the rest of it just in case i wanted to put a different bodice on this skirt but i do really like this bodice and as i say there were many of these in my wardrobe before i put on weight so um now that i've made this one fit me at this weight you can expect to see a lot more of this bodice over the coming months i'm really sorry this isn't available for anyone to buy it was a pattern i had drafted for me by the pattern designer that i hired when i started kittenish behavior as a clothing company i have about mm, i think probably about 15 designs that have been kind of drafted but specifically for me at one point i was going to get them graded and then made up into actual clothing to sell. I could still possibly have them graded and made into sewing patterns, but I want to be able to do that well. And as I say, every single one of them has been drafted for me and my shape 
and so it's not a standard block that, that then would be easily graded and I would want to be size inclusive so it would be it's just not something that's on the cards right now but there is the By Hand London Kim dress that's very similar and there is a La Cala dress that's a very similar sweetheart neckline so I will have listed both of those in the description down below and if any of you guys know of a similar sweetheart neckline to this then please do add it to the comments because I always get asked where this is from and as I say I'm sorry it's not available <laughs> I'm not going to finish it tonight though because as I say it's half past ten so I'm going to go and sit with my cat I will be back in the sewing room tomorrow to finish this and then start on the next project which I don't know what to, it will be probably the shirt actually I'm quite excited to see how that shirt turns out but if I do that that means I've got to cut out interfacing because I haven't done that yet so I'm going to call it a night I hope you've all enjoyed what I've been up to today and I will see you all tomorrow